ever spend an hour scrolling through social media and afterward you don't feel better? You just feel empty. If the answer is yes, you're not alone and it's not your fault. Let's find out why. The most important question you can ask is why? Asking why helps us understand ourselves. It helps us understand the world around us. When we understand the why behind something, we gain the power to change it. So today, we are asking a big question. Why do social media platforms, which were designed to connect us, so often make us feel unhappy? Reason number one is all about brain chemistry. It's about a chemical called dopamine. You can think of it as the motivation molecule. Every time you get a like or a comment, your brain gets a small reward. It feels good. Social media apps use a variable reward system. This is the same system used in slot machines in Las Vegas. You never know when you'll get the next reward, so you keep checking again and again. This can create an addiction. And when there are no new likes, we can feel bored or disappointed. Reason two, we compare our real lives to other people's perfect online lives. On social media, people share their best moments. We see the perfect vacation, the perfect relationship, the perfect job. Our brain compares their highlight reel to our normal everyday life. Studies have shown that the more time people spend on social media, the higher their risk of depression and low self-esteem. We start to feel that our life isn't good enough, but we are comparing it to something that isn't completely real. Reason number three is FOMO, the fear of missing out. Our social media feeds constantly shows us all the exciting things other people are doing. Right now, someone is at a party. Someone is traveling the world. FOMO creates a constant anxiety that you are missing out on something better. This makes it hard to enjoy your own life right here, right now. Reason four is about how the algorithm works. Social media wants to keep you on the platform for as long as possible. The easiest way to do that is to show you content that you already agree with. This creates an echo chamber. It feels like everyone thinks just like you. This is dangerous because we stop hearing different opinions. We become less open-minded and the world can feel like a more angry and divided place. Reason five is simple biology. Many of us scroll through our phones in bed, but the blue light from our screens tells our brain to stop producing melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that helps us sleep. So it becomes harder to fall asleep and the quality of our sleep gets worse. A lack of good sleep leads to a bad mood, stress, and anxiety. Reason six is a paradox. We have more friends than ever before, but many of us feel more lonely. The problem is that superficial online interactions, like getting a like, are replacing deep, real-life connections. We are spending more time maintaining hundreds of digital contacts instead of spending quality time with the few close friends or family members. And finally, reason seven. Social media has turned our lives into a performance. We are always thinking about what to post, what filter to use, what caption to write. This constant pressure to present a perfect version of ourselves is exhausting. It creates a gap between the real you and the online you. This can cause anxiety and make you feel like people only like the perfect image you created, not the real you. So a dopamine loop, the comparison trap, FOMO, echo chambers, poor sleep, loneliness, and pressure to perform. It sounds pretty bad.
But the goal here is not to tell you to delete all your apps. The goal is to give you knowledge so you can use these tools consciously. Here are a few simple things you can do. Do a digital cleanup. Unfollow accounts that make you feel bad about yourself. Turn off non-essential notifications. You decide when you check your phone, not the other way around. Don't take your phone to bed. Give your brain at least 30 minutes to relax before sleep. Hit the like button and subscribe for more videos that help us understand the why behind our world. Think critically, and I'll see you in the next video.